Hey, it's your old pal Fernbark, and today we're going to take a look at the Milwaukee 15-inch Packout Tote. Now, this is part of their Packout modular storage system. Uh, there's a bunch of components that go with it. Unfortunately, I don't have the full system to show you. I just got this tote. Uh, this is a pretty cool item, though. I really like it. I've been looking to upgrade uh, my soft storage tools holder for a while. Uh, it's got 1680D uh, rip-proof material. It's got an over-molded handle. The red part feels just like the uh, tools that you get like from like one of the M18 or M12 tools. And then it's got a rubber grip handle on top. Now let's bring it in for a closer look. I'm going to call this the front side because the other side, if you're carrying the bag, is going to be probably what goes up against your body. It's got a couple of loops right here on the front uh, that you can uh, put something into. In their little photo, they show uh, a level in there, so I'll just stick that in there to demonstrate it. Although probably what I'm going to put in there uh, is a stick light because I'm always needing a lamp. And then uh, you can see at the top, this is pretty flexible, but it's rigid enough. It's not going to lose its shape. On uh, one side, you have your metal ring that holds the strap. That's a shoulder strap. You got a spot for your tape measure and a couple of pockets. On the back side, there's a bit of padding right here where it would rub up against your leg if you're using the shoulder strap or if you're just carrying it with your left hand. I guess you could carry it on either side, either hand. Uh, if it's bumping against your body. You have a real skinny pocket right here. Um, not sure what you, something that you're probably gonna not use real frequently or something pretty tiny. There's another little skinny pocket right here. You can see I can only get about two fingers or about one finger deep into it. And then you get your main compartment right here where you could uh, put larger items. Okay, the other side has uh, the other D-ring for your strap. A little thing to hold a spool of electrical tape or whatever you wanted to stick on there. A bunch of smaller pockets. These are pretty skinny. So, you know, whatever you want to stick in those. So there's basically two inside pouches to this uh, pack out kit. And it's kind of cool because the bottom actually flexes around a little bit. So it gives you some... Um, flexibility with what you put in there. Now you got room in the one side for a couple of big tools, probably three. I'm just going to stick a couple in there just to give you kind of some perspective. And the other side has a variety of pouches. Now you got a little a sheath right here for like a drywall knife or something like that. You got a whole bunch of small uh, pouches around the edge. Some bigger pouches on the front edge. Now here's the part that I'm not too sure about because I got another thing that's got stacked pouches like this and the problem I find is when you start filling up the back pouch it kind of pushes into the ones in front of it so you don't get to put as much stuff in there as you'd like. So there's 31 total pouches but if you put a couple of big, like say you put something big right here well you're not going to be able to get anything into this spot right there but I guess, I don't know. Anyhow you, you work with what you got I guess. But uh, this material man this stuff, it feels so sturdy. You just know it's not going to uh, wear out on you. The bottom of the bag is a hard uh, plastic. It has uh, things on it so that you can connect it uh, to some of their other gears. There's some uh, trays, storage trays that you can uh, clip right onto the bottom of this so that when you pick up the whole kit, the tray comes with it. And then you can also clip it into the packable modular or pack out modular system. Here we are loaded out, uh, probably not my final way I'm going to sort this, I just stuck some stuff in here to kind of demonstrate a little bit. I can tell you right away though that this big fat handle is very comfortable when you add a lot of weight to this thing. Because I have a couple tool bags with the skinny handle and uh, yeah, that is not fun when it digs into your fingers. But uh, yeah, that's what she looks like. I will say I was a little disappointed uh, that some of these pockets didn't fit. Uh, my M12 tools a little better. What I really wanted to do was put some of these in in those pockets in the front or especially on the side right here. I wanted to stick uh, some M12 tools in here but it, I mean it fits in there but it's not if I'm carrying this I feel like it's gonna fall right out so these are pretty shallow. I'm not sure what 
I would stick into these, but nothing long because it's going to want to fall out, I think. So that's a bit of a bummer. So just for comparison to better illustrate what I'm talking about, this is the bag I currently use to hold my M12 stuff. And I can fit most of the items into these uh, small pockets around the sides and they fit in there good without me being afraid they're going to fall out while they're in there. So that's kind of, I was hoping there'd be some bigger pockets like that on here. Although I probably won't use the strap much myself because that's just not, I don't need to carry it that way very much. Uh, it is quite comfortable. This is a nice padded area right here and it feels very comfortable on your shoulder. Uh, I really did not feel this padded section right here at all while I was walking around. Uh, the way the bag hung on me, and I suppose I could adjust the strap uh, so that the pad rode on me, but uh, it sat on my body kind of angled like this so the pad apart didn't really come in contact with me at all. And this part right here is the part that rode up against me, so um, I don't know. Your mileage may vary on that one. All in all, this is definitely a very sturdy bag, and uh, when you actually combine it with the rest of the packout system, I think that's where the real value uh, is with this bag because it fits together with those other components so nicely, and uh, that's that's a fantastic looking system. But uh, yeah, if you're in the mood for uh, a new tool bag, definitely give this one a look. Very nice.